Hey guys, welcome back to the Cloud Computing Insider, where we talk about the realities of cloud computing and how to make it work for your enterprise. I'm your host, David Linthicum, author, speaker, B-List Geek. So in Cisco's 2024 AI Readiness Index, they show a gap between AI ambition and preparedness. In other words, what people want to do with what they're able to do. While the urgency is high, the readiness declined across six pillars, and they named six strategy, infrastructure, data, governance, talent, culture. So this report is linked to in the description, but I'll put up a QR code at the end of the video and you can go ahead and take it there. So here to discuss uh, this report and just really kind of have a, co a core conversation with me is G2 Patel, Cisco's Executive Vice President, Chief Product Officer. He's able to combine a bold vision steeped into product design and development expertise, operational rigor, and innate market understanding to create high growth businesses. Welcome, G2, how are you doing? David, thank you for having me. I'm doing great. Yeah, well, thank you for doing this report. I realize that, uh, you know, these aren't cheap to do. And then you get into, when I read the report, one of the things that would kind of, you know, hit me in the face was this is a learning report. You're training, you're telling us what's going on in the marketplace and how to be successful with this technology. This isn't about selling something. This is about how you do something correctly. And certainly we're all about that on this channel. So the particular thing we're going to talk about in this video is going to be the data pillar. And so the data pillar of the uh, reading, AI readiness index reveals a decline in organizational preparedness for managing data effectively for AI initiatives. And I always, I always tell uh, my clients and I tell people here, you know, we're hitting a data wall. We're just kind of beyond the fact that we haven't got the data in the correct shape uh, to leverage it effectively. Data, as I tell my generative AI, you know, architecture class, you know, at the end of the day, this is a data problem that we're solving. It's not necessarily, you know, an AI initiative that we're doing. So get into it. Can you elaborate on why data is so foundational to successful AI adoption within enterprises and how it's important, how its importance has evolved in the last year? And also, what are some of the common data-related challenges the organizational faces right now? Yeah, David, it's a, great, it's a great question. And it's one that we need to delve deeper into and talk more about because um, if you think about what is essential for AI um, for most organizations, there's three things that have been pretty well known, which is compute, algorithms, and data. And then what you're now starting to hear more and more about that has not been talked about enough is networking and security. But those five things, compute, algo, data, network security, actually form the core foundation for what's needed now. In the data side, um, you know, it is the fuel for AI. And, you know, if you think about AI systems, they're going to need to have a continuous set of data streams to adapt to real time kind of dynamics of what's going on. But we are getting to a point where we are actually starting to run out of publicly available data to train these models. But there's a pretty meaningful level of enterprise data that's actually available, but not quite harnessable yet because most organizations have proprietary data but they don't really have a way of going out and taking advantage of it and so that's an area where you know uh, the infrastructure is going to need to get ready the tooling is going to need to get ready the, the way that you go out and harness the data uh, and enrich your models will be something that will need to get more mechanical than where we are right now so that every organization can actually become an ai company and that, uh, frankly, it's it's the hard work. It's not that any organization doesn't have unique sets of data. It's that every organization is struggling with how you use that data to go out and generate meaningful insights. So how does Cisco help organizations address this specifically, naming data security, privacy concerns when implementing AI solutions? And also the core thing I think my audience is going to ask, what are some of the biggest misconceptions companies have about data security in an AI context. And I get this a lot. In other words, people not only talk about the preparedness of data and the ability to kind of cross the data chasm to get the AI stuff, but you know, what about the potential security concerns and certainly conversion of data into AI models and all those sorts of things become primary, a, a core focus. What's your opinion there? Well, firstly, if you just think about the amount of money that we have spent in training so far and the amount of revenue that's generated from inference, there's still a gap, right? Like there's about 200, $225 billion that's spent on training. There's probably about five to $10 billion that's realized so far from the inferencing of that data and the models. And that's largely because most organizations haven't really gotten to the point of comfort that, um, you know, security and safety of AI is at the level that they can actually just go completely unlock. And so security is a pretty big area, not just for using security for um, your AI, but actually securing AI itself. You know, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, using AI for security, but securing AI itself. So when I start thinking about core principles of AI security, you know, in my mind, 
being secure is in fact being fast because if you if you if you don't if you don't have security you won't get the speed and right now those two are looked at at odds with each other where you can either have the speed or security and i think you, that that's not an effective trade off um and you have to decide you know what's safe what's not and if you li- think about the world we live in we're going to be in a multi cloud multi model world and if you assume that security is going to be provided in piece parts by all the clouds and all the models there will be a, some there will be some basic element of that that will be provided across but it's not going to be consistent because everyone might be good but they're going to be slightly different so you need a common substrate of security across all the model providers across all the applications across all the clouds and that's where cisco can really play a very meaningful role because we are a neutral third party that can actually provide security across now to effectively solve this problem we have to make sure that we can work continuously across all the different layers from compute to network to storage and all uh, and all the way to the application and i actually feel like we need to make sure that we figure out a way to constantly learn from new data and actually you know kind of digest it in and make sure that security is a data problem at some point in time because you have to handle security at machine scale not at human scale so when you start thinking about security it is fundamentally and foundationally a data problem and ai is foundationally a data problem so all these things kind of tie together but if you don't have the right ai safety and security i just don't think you'll get the full potential harness from ai yeah and certainly we're going to need cisco uh you know right there in us to help us get to help us get this right including security data transformation i always tell people you know what are the core uh you know core areas are going to rise um you know as far as the adoption of ai and it gets into the networking and the data and security aspects of it and you guys are all over that and certainly i'm building a great portfolio so what's the one piece of actionable advice you'd give a cio struggling with their data strategy for ai just one sentence worth one sentence worth would be just make sure that your infrastructure for data and the tooling for data is actually being thought about in a very thought in, in a very considerate way because that's going to be the difference between success and failure as you build out these applications there is a lot of applications where people built the applications out and then found underwhelming levels of usage and that's largely because either the insights weren't great enough or because the safety quotient wasn't high enough they hesitated taking it out all the way to the fullest and so these are all aspects that need to be thought about as you as you build out the um, the ai um, AI readiness for your organization. It's more than one sentence, David. Yeah, no, it's all right. Wise words. I think everybody needs to take that to action. I think it's the things in the infrastructure and getting that aspect of it right, uh, which gets into AI success. It's not about picking AI tools and technology. You know, this is about getting your own infrastructure in shape and prepared for this kind of game-changing move and how what this technology is going to do. This stuff is going to create a, a innovative differentiator for many of the businesses. So this is going to be a bet the business kind of a technology. And so you're going to have to spend money on the infrastructure. So I want to thank G2 for being on the podcast. It was a great guest and, and certainly gets into the fundamentals of what we what we need to make this AI stuff successful, as everybody keeps asking me. And I hope you were able to not only get his wisdom, but also check out that report, because I think it is something uh, that you should read in terms of getting actionable advice and what you can do to ready yourself to make AI work for your enterprise. So that's it. Don't forget to check out my info blog, check out my LinkedIn learning classes, check me out on LinkedIn. And until next time, you guys stay very safe. Cheers.